There you go, it's recording right now. Yeah. I got some scriptures too, man. Oh, oh, look, look, check this out. I got this Bible hat. Check out this Bible hat. Hey, get this camera in here. Watch this. <laughs> I got, I, got this an, I got this Android application from my phone. It's called the Hebrew vote. It's called a biblical Hebrew vocabulary. Just get on Google App Store and look up biblical Hebrew vocabulary. What you charge for your app? It's just free. I didn't make no I didn't make this. Right. Oh, okay. No, I didn't make this. What's it called again? Biblical Hebrew vocabulary. And what it, what it is is like flashcards. Can you see that? It nope. got, it's all blurred. Oh, uh, fuck it. But it's got like 600 of the main used Hebrew words in the Bible on flashcards. And I've been using the shit out of this for the past couple of days, learning all kind of Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? Like, Tazawa, that means the command. I go to the next word. Got a wall, that means great. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but you gotta look that up. Just look that up on your Android app. Yeah, goddamn America. Oh, you see your boy, uh, what's that pastor? Obama's pastor's name, what's his name? Oh, 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 damn. Uh, Jeremiah right, Wright. Right. Uh, he was saying, goddamn America, right? Damn America. He said, God, you know, goddamn America, right? Goddamn, I wanna hear you say it, goddamn America. But your boy, even uh, Pastor Wright, he coming out against Obama now. Oh, hell no. He said, pretty much saying Obama's a big piece of shit. Obama works for the white man. He must be mad at Obama for breaking up with him. Oh yeah, he ain't giving no more. He ain't getting no more sperm from his son. Yeah, but that's pretty. Yeah, we out here saying, "Goddamn America!" Hey, hey, let me get a script. You about to get one? Deuteronomy thirty-two and six. Like he said, what, what he said, uh. Oh, oh, two he, two thirds love America. All these motherfuckers love America, man. They put their hope and their faith into this shit. Oh, they love it. And they love their money. They really love that money more than anything else. Right. That's what they really worship is get money. I go. Oh shit! The phone dropped. That's your shit. Yeah, that's my phone. That's my extra phone. I need to read Bible. This thing has been dropped and beat up so many times, I don't know. She's real faithful to me. 32 and 6, do the Romans. Yeah, I think so. Read that too, don't worry. Read that loud too, yeah. Deuteronomy 32 and 6. Do ye thus requit the Lord, O foolish people? The fight. It's a fight. Read that again. Deuteronomy 36 and 6. Do ye thus requit the Lord? Oh, foolish people. Requite, requite, requite is where you get the word quiet. And requiet means you just shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? Or like we was talking the other day, you ever hear of a requeen? Wasn't there a movie called A Requeen for a Dream? Well, a requeen is when you honor somebody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go ahead. When you honor the dead person. Go ahead, read that. Deuteronomy 32 and 6. Do ye thus requite the Lord Oh, foolish people. Oh, foolish people. So who is he talking to? He's talking to the nation of Israel. And he's saying that the Israelites are a bunch of foolish, stupid people, man. They're a bunch of dumbasses. They're retarded. They got no sense. Like, you people, you ain't got no sense. You people out here ain't got no sense. You're totally gone. You have no wisdom. 
no knowledge, you have no truth, no understanding, you don't know shit, you're just dumb as hell. No Rick top and check. Yeah, they got no, uh, yeah, no honor, no valor, what's some other words? Yeah, right, they got no integrity, no morals. No brotherly love. Yeah, no brotherly love. No, what's None of that, man. They front like they do, though. They say it. They say they do. Read that again. Deuteronomy 32 and 6. Do ye thus require the Lord, O foolish people, so and the, unwise? So the Lord said, y'all, foolish and unwise. He said, O foolish and unwise. When you unwise, that means you have no wisdom. Because to be wise means you have wisdom. To be unwise means you have no wisdom. So the Lord said, y'all a bunch of dumb, stupid motherfuckers. Pretty much that's what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm using 21st century language, English. You know what I'm saying? So they can understand So you can understand it. He's saying, y'all dumb as hell. Goes dumb as rock. Uh, read that again. Deuteronomy 32 and 6. Do ye thus require the Lord, O foolish people, and unwise? Foolish and unwise. Is not he thy father that hath bought thee? Has he not made thee and established thee? Right, has not the Most High made you? He's the one that made you and established you. The Most High is the one that put you on this earth and allowed you to run your dumbass mouth. You know what I'm saying? And allowed you to think these vain thoughts. You know what I'm saying? The Most High allowed you to do that. Read that again all the way through. All right. Deuteronomy 32 and 6. Do ye thus require the Lord, O foolish people, and in the wise? And there's some foolish people, man. Like, you can get on Google or any search engine and look up uh, how smart is America or uh, where America is at in the, in the world. America is like one of the dumbest countries on the planet Earth, man. They're one of the most stupid, one of the most retardedest countries on the planet Earth. You know what I'm saying? These people are dumb, they're just stupid. dumb as hell. They Late can't even read. They can't even goddamn read. You got people graduating from high school still can't fucking read. Illiterate is all fucking hell. Hey, you're right, they're illiterate. That's some fucking shit. And, uh, I remember arguing with my brother and my cousin because they went to college and, you know, got their degree, uh, not degree, but their diploma and yeah. the college and shit. They was like, I don't know, you didn't even graduate from college. And I, I made them look real stupid, like motherfuckers look. But don't they got special ed classes, right? That motherfucking special ed, what we call the dodo squad. They graduate from school, you know. Don't they get a diploma too? Right. The same type of diploma. As you do. So what's so special about it? Hey, shit's special about it. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have got a GED and so passed both of them, sorry, motherfucker. But the thing <laughs> is, most of you people that go to these schools and colleges, the only thing they care about is getting that degree. Like, right. I got my degree. Right. They don't actually care about getting that knowledge. See, the knowledge is, that, that's secondary. The only thing they care about is, yeah, I got a degree, I can brag about this piece of paper I got. A piece of paper. A piece of paper don't mean a goddamn thing. A piece of paper. It's all about the knowledge that you're getting. Okay, because a, a person is seeking, look, half these people to go to that school, they don't even care about knowledge. They, they're not really passionate about searching for the truth. All they care about is getting that goddamn diploma. There might be a few people in there that are really passionate about researching and learning. They're constantly studying. But for the most part, most people in them colleges, they, they don't, they're not passionate about learning and researching. They're not up till goddamn five, seven in the morning, staying up for three days straight, looking up words, searching history. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just worry about the future getting a good job or some dumb shit. That's how we are. We don't go to sleep. I be up for days straight sometimes researching. Yeah, I just bugged you. out. My eyes be all bloodshot and shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking all crazy. Been up for days straight, studying. Them people in these schools, Schools ain't doing that. Uh, but go, read that one more time what you got. I like that scripture. Deuteronomy 32 and 6. Do ye thus require the Lord, O foolish people, and unwise. So y'all some foolish and unwise people. That's what the Lord said, y'all foolish and unwise. You retarded. Keep going. 
is not he, thy father, that hath bought thee, and he not made thee and established thee. So the Most High established you, therefore he will kill you. He going? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Yeah, consider the years of many generations, your forefathers. He going? Ask thy fathers, and he will show thee. He going? That's what we out here telling people who your fathers is. Most of y'all don't even know where you came from. We are here to teach the lost sheep of the house of Israel. A lot of you have never even heard of an Israelite. Wow, what's an Israelite? What the hell is that? Because y'all are foolish and unwise. You, you done forgot about your people and your family and your customs. Keep going. Ask thy father and he will show thee thy elders and they will tell thee. Yeah, ask your elders and they will tell you. Your elders, that's your teachers. Like the elders taught us that I, I didn't know I was an Israelite till the elders taught me I was an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't, you don't know shit until you've been taught. You know, how can you be a student if you ain't got no teacher? Keep going. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. Oh, when he separated the sons of Adam. This goes back to that heritage. Because the Lord said... Remember your heritage and your fathers, right? Our fathers are the Israelites. And when the Lord created all nations, he didn't create all nations to be the same. He didn't create all nations to be equal. Uh, all nations ain't equal. You okay? okay? He was wearing some tight ass goddamn pants, man. Fucking faggots. Well, he's shooting with them ball circulation. He probably don't have them kids anyway. They're faggots. He probably don't have a vasectomy. He's sucking cock all day. Go ahead with that. When he separated the sons of Adam. So the Lord separated the sons of Adam. He didn't create when he created all the all the different nations, he didn't create all nations to be the same. He created the nation of Israel to be his people, okay? His people. To be uh what, what's that word? Uh consecrate, what's that uh to be separated, to be uh to, to be a holy people. I'll read it, it tells you right here actually. When he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Keep going. For the Lord's portion is his people. The Lord's portion is his people. Keep going. So the Lord has a special people. Keep going. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Jacob is the lot of the Lord's inheritance. Mean the Lord's inheritance means what? Means the, the word of ones who inherited the kingdom of the most high. To the Lord's inheritance, that's the kingdom of the Most High. That's the kingdom of heaven. Okay, keep going. We found him in the desert land and in the waste, howling wilderness. Right, right now, actually, America's like a desert. It's, it's a wasteland. It's void of truth. There ain't no water to drink. You thirst, most people are thirsty. They die of thirst. I mean, they got no truth. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. So yeah, so Jacob is the apple of the Lord's eye. That's Israel. That's all we give a damn about it. And actually, on top of that, we only care about the elected Israel. The hell, the, the majority of Israel ain't right. You know, they don't appreciate shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't even appreciate the fact that the Lord blessed them. You know what I'm saying? So the fuck them. Right. Two thirds of Israel is gonna die. All right. First Corinthians one seventeen. Oh yeah. That might be like an incredible hot one transfer. Wait, what? Let's break through the little door. Let's break through the next Oh, you need a bot house one. Oh, this one's right here. Go. 
1 Corinthians 1 and 17. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. So to all these motherfuckers that's out here that's gonna be destroyed, of course what we're saying is foolishness to them. Right. Of course it's foolishness. <laughs> they say everything we do is foolishness. They say y'all look retarded. Y'all like you wearing a potato sack, you look stupid. Y'all look dirty. Y'all look y'all look crazy, y'all extreme. What the Lord said to do so, I'm down with doing what the Lord said to do. But of course we look foolish to your stupid ass. Okay, because you're going to die anyway. So why the hell we care what you think if you're just going to die any damn way? Look at all these Chinese. What's up, Chinese ladies? Y'all speak Chinese? Y'all got talking mama-san? Mama-san, go get mama-san. Hey, come here. I want to talk to some Chinese uh, hoes. Y'all cook rice good? You suck some cotton good. That's all they're good for. Um, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Yeah, cause like, well, hold up, right before you, cause them Chinese women, and you know, some of them might be Israelites, cause Israel scattered. But for the for the re real Chinese women, the heathens, in the kingdom, they're gonna be our concubines. They're gonna be like a little sex toys. You know what I'm saying? Cause like the Lord, we was reading in uh, Deuteronomy, the Lord separated us to be His holy people, His special people. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord's special people get special privileges. And one of them privileges is we're going to have whatever we want. In the kingdom, we're going to have whatever we want. We're going to have you know, them Chinese. We're going to fuck the shit out some Chinese women. Some, bad -ass bitches, we're going to have whatever the, we want. Yep. All the bad ones, the, uh, the other nations, all the bad ones. All the fine ones. Esau ain't going to have nothing. He's going to have none of that. He ain't going to have nothing from He's going to have them rose and bars like this. <laughs> we're sitting in Israel like that. Oh, yeah, that bitch. He's going to have the Right, he's going to have the queen type bitches. Yeah. The, the, the queen. Who the bitch queen is now. Cause yeah. that bitch even when she was young was never. But yeah, you're right though. Roseanne Barr, that bitch is a beast. <laughs> she's like a, uh, she's like a wild hog. Like that, that bitch is a demon, man. <laughs> I feel sorry. For, what's that one dude who was with her? Ted Arnold. Tom, Tom Arnold. Oh, Tom, Tom, oh, Tom yeah. Arnold. Yeah. I can't. He was probably eating that pussy and everything, <laughs> man. That ass, that eating that ass. Yeah, you know Roseanne Barr is a nasty bitch, man. <laughs> she do some freaky shit, man. I like Roseanne. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've yeah, always liked just, Roseanne though. Yeah, you just, she said that, that was a good show she had back then. Roseanne's in the day. actually a funny bitch. She's yeah. an Israelite. Yeah, she's talented. Yeah, she's an Israelite. She got skills. But you know that bitch on her in her yeah, spare they, time. They, they was ghetto as fuck she, on that. She show. probably a pagan and all kinds. She doing spells. You know, Roseanne Arnold uh, always talks about the chair. You have always talked about it. Who did? Roseanne. Really? Yeah, she actually knows about the chair uh, and stuff, man. There's she, videos she, on YouTube you can see her talking about. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Israel being the open. What's up, man? You trying to roll up on it? You guys get cold then? Nah, nah. You guys get cold then preaching the word you come out to the Bible study that happened at the beginning. Get cold, we got the fire. I know. So do I. Huh? So do I. No, hold on. Where you at? Come here. Come here. Come on. Why aren't you out here, man? Instead of just carrying that book around. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Why aren't you out here, man? I'm doing your Bible study. Oh, that's, now that's, we invite that's what you're going right wrong here. You that's like, what you're going wrong here. You better go so learn that bullshit. Hey, no, why don't you oh, bring them out here? Bring them all out here. Yeah, bring them out here, We're going to do this. It's not a coincidence that we met tonight. Oh, exactly. On the night that I'm going to a Bible study. So hold up. So the Most High. Hold up. No, 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 that's no. That's God for you right there, my man. No, you got the Most High command you to Second. bring you and your people out of here. Second floor. No, we ain't going Second. inside. Cold, we ain't cold, oh, no, though. No, no. He's been marked. Y'all like some little girl. He's been marked. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like, like, like some right. little girl. It is spiritual that we met. He's been marked like a motherfucker. He was out here before. Almost I gave him another chance. He hey. call, he's calling him. He, he see how we fucked him up before. Yeah. We could probably go find it. I don't know what so video that was. So we done made so many videos, I'll never find it. And that's the spirit that I'm um, the scripture I'm on. You know, go, go ahead, bro. Say what you're saying. You got me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This, 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 this is gross. <laughs> that's very, very on the wild. You know? Yeah, but that fucking faggot, I call him a big bitch and a big fat, big fucking faggot shirt. Looking like Chris Jericho. Yeah, it looked like the gay Chris. Yeah, gay. Like Chris, Chris Jericho's Jericho. already gay. <laughs> but he looks, he does look like Chris Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> like, that Y2J. Let me get this scripture real quick. Y2 jerk off. <laughs> that was Y2J. <laughs> I, I liked him when he was in WCW though. I yeah. like him when he switched over to. I like him when he's a bad guy. Yeah, he was a he was sort of good yeah. guy, bad guy. Sir, yeah. A whiner. 
Yeah. He played his Big act, he played his act to a T. I loved him when he was in the um the w WCW. But WWE 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 is for fucking faggots. Yep. Okay, it's the that's, that's not even wrestling, man. That's not wrestling. WWE is not wrestling, it's faggot shit. Okay? Wrestling, like you said, WCW, that down south shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The old school ECW. That's wrestling. Not that faggot Extreme shit. Extreme shit. Not no goddamn Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Yeah, big faggot. Hunter Hearst Helmsley. That ain't even his real name. And he was never entertaining. They got the weakest wrestler, John Cena. John Cena is a big faggot. He, he's not even, he got no skills, no talent. Every time I watch him wrestle, he's just sleeping the whole time. He's just laying there, just shaking. That shit is weak, man. I tell you, they got that spirit of faggotism. It's on everything. It's on the music. It's on the wrestling. It's on the actors. Everything got that 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 feminine spirit. Right. They making all these new rules of football so you can't hurt nobody. Pretty soon you can't tackle them. You just gotta give them a hug to stop them. Pull the flag. Flag football. Yeah, flag. They gonna turn it into flag. Flag football. Yeah. <laughs> have girls playing. They, they gonna have girls playing. They already got. They got women in the Marine Corps. They got women in the Marine Corps. They they trying to put women in combat positions, but women can't even do three pull-ups. They can't even pass the basic fitness test. You know what I'm saying? That tells you how stupid this goddamn country is, man. Hey, bunch of. Hey, go ahead. Y'all know America's about to be destroyed, right? The Most High's about to destroy America. Along with all of you girly mon. Yeah, all you, all you little faggots, you all gonna die. All you whores, you all gonna die. You gonna be destroyed. All you people that ain't right with the Most High, you gonna die. The Most High's gonna kill you. The Most High's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill your family. Okay, he's gonna destroy everything you love. Very soon, real soon too. That's right, America's about to be destroyed. Ain't no saving it. Y'all bunch of dumb, stupid ass people. You all just gonna die, you gonna starve, you gonna catch a disease, you gonna catch a swine flu. You know what I'm saying? You know, they gonna wish they got their head chopped off instead of losing their starvation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all yeah, know the FEMA camps is coming, right? Y'all go right to the camps. By the sword, then through that famine. Yeah. Right, you know? Yeah. Well, the you famine's know? worse because a lot of y'all gonna get eaten. <laughs> Somebody will eat you. <laughs> right. That's all I'm saying. You know how they got them on the stick? Yeah, yeah. 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 Shishka bombs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the stick of the yeah. yeah. stick. Slow turning. Turn. Slow turning. They already eat people over there in Africa. Mm -hmm. You see that? How they eating people? Like pe somebody that die and get shot. Motherfuckers will pick his ass up and start eating him. Hey, what brother polite, uh, brother no light say about that? He probably eating this shit too. They yeah, got all these. He uh, is a mason. He probably, he probably cannibal his damn self. Yeah, all them Egyptologists, they talk shit about the Bible because the Bible prophesied about people getting eaten, you know what I'm saying, in the time of trouble. Like when the society breaks down, cannibalism breaks out. You know what to say? Oh, in the Bible, there's cannibalism in the Bible. Well, motherfucker, there's cannibalism all through Africa. Mm. It's a common practice over there. Yeah. You know, they go to war, man, with the other neighbors, neighboring tribe. They eat them motherfuckers. Well, it's a common practice if they got an albino <laughs> African, like an all-white-skinned African, they'll cook them and eat them because they think they get magical powers from it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they fucked out. They do, yeah, they man. That's because they fucked out. So that's you people yeah. on that <laughs> Egypt shit. In that African shit, man. Fuck Africa. Fuck Egypt. Okay. Motherfuck. Fuck Africa. We don't give a goddamn about Africa. We don't give a good goddamn about Egypt. We don't give a fuck about America. We don't give a fuck about none of this stupid shit you're talking about. We out here teaching the Bible. We're not gonna teach the. We're gonna teach the Bible, and that's all we gonna teach. Go ahead. That's all. The truth. Truth. Ecclesiastes 21 and 18. As is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. So when, yeah, so the Bible's, it, it, yeah, to a, a fool I hate the Bible, because it's wisdom. A fool hates wisdom. He hates knowledge. Okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. And the knowledge of the unwise is a talk without sense. A talk without sense. That's nonsense. 
no sense without sense nonsense okay incoherent gibberish that's what these motherfuckers are speaking out here all these faggots in these churches they all speaking nonsense faggots should have rights you know women uh, women can be uh uh oh. can, can choose the many men that she wants well a woman have a rights period that, that's nonsense a woman being able to own property and to be able to be her own person, that's nonsense. <laughs> I mean, because a woman is not her own person. She's a half a person. You know, she, she's a, the other half of a man. You know what I mean? Because a woman belongs to the man. A woman is a man's property. She is not her own person, okay? She is a possession. Own that biatch. Yeah, exactly. A woman, I suppose, a woman is not supposed to be walking around freely, expressing her thoughts, being a leader, you know what I'm saying? Start, well, actually the women's lib movement was started by Jewish women. That wasn't even started by you average hoes. The women's lib, that was started by them goddamn Jewish rats over there in Israel. Those Jews who are not Jews, they're a bunch of devils. And you see a lot of them devils out here. They say they say some the highest percentage of college students are so-called Jews. They're the only ones that actually gets gets to go to school. Cause they call it all of us Goyim. We're all their slaves. Oh, uh, go ahead. So you're a Jew, ain't you? You you look like a Jew. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet. And like manacles on the right hand. So a doctrine of fools. Doctrine, that go back to the word doctor, which means to teach. So a do the doctrine means a teaching. So the teachings of the God, read that again. Ecclesiastes 21 and 19. Doctrine unto fools is Te as fetters on the feet. So teaching unto a fool is like having chains on your feet. You know what I'm saying? Like people always say, what's the best way to hide uh, uh, knowledge from a nigga is to put it in a book. <laughs> Man, that's an old saying. They've been old saying that for years. That's old saying. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't read books. Go ahead. And like manacles on the right hand, a fool lifts up his voice with laughter. A uh, fool, that's all these people care about is somebody laugh. Like a lot of these women, all they care about is a, I want a man that can make me laugh. All they care about is foolishness. They like a pack of wild hyenas. All just laughing all the time. That's, that's all these people is about is foolishness. That's Jake especially. That's, especially when you go up in the hood and you, and you witness one of these barbecues or one of these house parties. Or, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody's just laughing. <laughs> just laughing, laughing. Drunk as hell, just laughing. Playing that, blasting that bullshit ass music. You can hear this loud ass women laughing from a mile away, cursing the men out. That sounds like death, man. That sounds like. It, 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 that laughter sounds like voices coming out of the Necronomicon. It sounds like something coming out of a demonic portal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's that de that's, them, that's them demons laughing. That's some, when, you don't hear them demonic laughs. When these people, they, they possessed by these spirits, man. So when they be laughing and shit, they be partying. They got them spirits up inside of them. They controlling their asses. They, and that's why they, from a distance, they sound like demons talking. Sound like a bunch of hyenas. <laughs> like a, I'm probably a hyena. Jackals. Uh, like goddamn jackals. Oh, uh, my fault. First Go Corinthians ahead. 1 and um, 18. For the preaching of the cross, it's to them that perish foolishness. Yeah, te that's we teaching the cross. Because the cross represents sacrifice. It represents that straight gate. Y'all don't want to have nothing to do with being straight and walking the straight way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, go ahead. Read that again, bro. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of the Most High. That's the power of the Most High. The only reason we out here teaching is in the power of the Most High. We out here, we don't give a fuck, we out here in the cold. Like, you seen that little faggot come out here. He said, if you guys want to, you can come inside where it's warm. Second door. Now I'll beat your bitch ass. I'll punch you in the face, man. Fucking goddamn faggot. Go ahead. For it is written, 
I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where, where is the scribe? Where is the wise and the scribe? Where are y'all motherfuckers at? Everybody loves to talk shit. Nope. You love to talk shit and love to run your mouth. But where are you at? Y'all ain't, ain't nobody gonna come out here and debate shit with us, man. Okay? We've been, how, we've been out here in Columbus for, for like five years. And people know better. Because there's no scholars out here. There's no scholars at OSU. There's no great teachers. There's no great men of wisdom. They got no wisdom. They don't know nothing. Then that's, they don't, the most high is not dealing with them. They're not studying. They don't know shit. Right, right, right. We, like, we ain't been to war with nobody. We ain't physically jumped on motherfuckers uh, out here. We ain't beat the shit out of nobody. You know? So but they I, can't say we out here being mean. Well, I'm, but I read that again, though. That, that's know. really talking about where, where's the scholars at? Where's your wise men? Y'all ain't got no wise men. Man, I get to run into somebody, another person, besides somebody who was in the truth like us, that knew more about history than me, that knew more about languages than me, that knew more about etymologies, that knew more about mathematics, or just anything. Knew more about art. I've yet to meet anybody that knows more than me than somebody besides somebody else that's in the truth. Right. I've yet to meet anybody that knows shit. These people are retarded. They don't know a goddamn thing. That's why the scripture says in uh, uh, Proverbs 1 and 7, it said, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and destruction. <laughs> so y'all ain't going, the reason y'all ain't got no wisdom and no knowledge because you don't have the fear of the Lord in you. All right, go ahead. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputers of this world? Yeah, where, where, where is everybody out? The protesters. Yeah, everybody, kind of, I hate this world. It's such an evil place. Yeah, why aren't you out here? Why are you disputing? You're out, you're out here uh, hiding, hiding out in your house. You, you a bunch of faggots, man. A bunch of bitch-ass faggots. Oh, just like that faggot. They came out here claimed to be a Christian. The fact that little uh, fairy that came out here with a Bible. The claim he's a Christian. He loves the Lord. Why too gay? Yeah, why too gay? Why, why, why? How come he's not out here disputing the world and you know, out here proclaiming the gospel on the streets like a real man? You're a little big faggot, man. Maybe. I hate you, motherfucking faggots. There's no way they're in there reading scriptures, man. Oh, man they're, no. they're probably doing a circle jerk. That's just a way for him to get some pussy or to, or to get some. He's probably sucking someone's dick. When I study, it's like it's just dead on. Like, it's talking about nothing but this world. Yeah, right. I, be, I got to the point. I'm like, what is What motherfuckers talk about they going to Bible study? Like, what is they studying? <laughs> Not the Bible. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. They right. can't be. Probably was studying ESPN stats. Yeah, they can't, be they can't even understand stuff. the Bible because the Lord got the lock on your brain, man. The Lord ain't dealing with you. If He ain't give you that roll to eat, then you ain't. Man, let's get that, man. They all got the same doctrine on prosperity, you know. That's that bullshit. That's the the teaching Jesus is love. Jesus loves you, and yeah. yeah. All this nonsense, yeah. man. Like yeah. he said, it's a fool without sense. What is that? What's that scripture you say? That's a beautiful scripture, man. Um, here you go. All that talk without sense. Um, where is the disputers of this world? Have not the most high made foolish the wisdom of this world? So the wisdom in this world is foolishness. Just like this devil thinks he had mastered the DNA. If you don't master DNA, how come you ain't created a superhuman yet? A motherfucker immortal being that can live forever. You know, you think you don't master DNA? You think you don't master science? How come you devils ain't created your created your own solar system? You know how it works? You claim you got the physics, you know how it works? You go make a goddamn solar system. If you can't do that, then shut the fuck up. 
You, you know, know what I'm saying? They think they got that shit. They don't know going. shit, man. They really? got, you know how them bodybuilders, you compare these bodybuilders now to the ones back in the 50s. They make them look foolish. Yeah, they make them look stupid. But the thing is, these bodybuilders, when they get to like, in their late 40s, 50s, man, they drop dead from um, heart, heart cancer, stroke, yeah. The heart can't, yeah. Yeah, heart can't yeah. handle all that muscle. Yeah, can't take it. Yep. Yeah. It's too much of themselves up with them advanced forms of steroids and shit. Yep. Yeah. Horse, there ain't nothing but shit that come out of horses, horse hormones. Them steroids, that's some crazy shit, man. Yeah, you ain't gonna see me taking that. Hell, man, you gotta be out of your motherfucking mind. I heard, a super, I heard a superstar Billy Graham talking about all them steroids he took. Mm -hmm. He said he wish he never did that ever. Yeah, that was one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. Oh yeah, superstar Billy Graham, Billy Graham, obvious Jake, all that shit. Yeah, talk. he talked, he talked straight up like a nigga, talk. man. Yeah, he just come out there, straight up. He's like, I got to get that belt. That belt got gold and titanium and platinum. Well, he seems like a Judah too. Oh, he got to be. Yeah. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. So y'all don't know the Most High because like, they all proud in their wisdom and their knowledge. Oh, I'm an agnostic. I'm an atheist. I believe in science. What? They say they believe in science. They don't even know what the word science means. You know what I'm saying? How can you believe in something you don't even know what that what it means? And they can't even perform an experiment. I'm like, since you believe in science, what experiments have you done? You know what I'm saying? Can you please show me your experiments? Show me your data charts. You know, show me your algorithms and your mathematical formulas and equations. You only got no equations because you're a bunch of retarded, goddamn dumbass fucking heathens. Go ahead. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. That's it, man. Yeah, the Lord gonna save them to believe. So we don't give a good goddamn if you believe or not. If you don't believe, you're gonna just gonna die. You're gonna be destroyed. That's all there is to it. And we're gonna laugh at you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna laugh at your calamity. We're gonna laugh at your destruction. You know what I'm saying? We're not. We're gonna feel sorry. Oh, I can't believe the Lord is getting me. I feel so sorry for that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I love that guy. He's my brother. When we see people get fucked up, we praise the Most High. Mm -hmm. Well, when I see Paul Walker get blown up in a car crash, I praise yeah, the Most yeah, High. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I see the... Uh, <laughs> who dropped that recently? Oh, when Ariel Sharon died? Whew, oh, I yeah, praise yeah. the Most High. I did that goddamn devil finally just dropped dead. You know what I'm saying? I praise the Most High. Every time one of these Jew devils drop dead, I praise the Most High. There's a lot of Jew motherfuckers out here on the, at Ohio State campus too, man. You gotta watch out for these devils. They every goddamn way. I hate them. <laughs> you see Joe Biden? Joe Biden was at uh, Ariel Sharon's memorial wearing a goddamn yarmulke. What's that, the kippah, what that, the, kippa, the kippa, whatever the fuck they call that little hat, that little faggot little hat they wear on top of their head. Hey, give me that scripture in Corinthians say you gotta cover your head, you know where that's at? Is that seven or uh, 14? Uh, 14, 11. Uh, 11, 11, yeah, 11. Get that, get, get that out. Is there, uh, that's more proof that them so-called Jews over there in Israel not the real Jews because they all, they got, they got a commandment they made up to come out of town mood to say they always have to have their head covered. I was like, read that. Oh, wait till this asshole go by. Fucking faggot. so-called Jews living in the state of Israel, they're not the real Jews, all right? Uh, but go ahead, they're the ones that control America, they control Hollywood, they control the media, they control the news, they control the banks. Control the goats. Oh, they, right, they control the sheep. They call y'all Goyim. But y'all people don't know shit, man. Go ahead, read that. First Corinthians 11 and seven. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God. Actually, when you read that, you should have your head uncovered. At least the top of your head uncovered. Oh, yeah. Just, just why you read it, you know what I mean? Just read that again. First Corinthians 11 and 7. The what is cold outside, it's understand. You, you 
gotta let brothers cover up when they freezing and shit, you know what I mean? It's cold as fuck. Go ahead. First Corinthians 11 and 7. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head for as much as he is the image and glory of God. All right, keep going. But the woman is the glory of the man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Oh, see that? Some of y'all got backwards in America. Now read that again. Now read that again. First Corinthians 11 and 8. For the man is not of the woman, the, but the woman of the man. That's the right. man is not of the woman, but the woman is of the man. That's something y'all got backwards, all right? Because in America, they, they give the woman rights. All right, if you, if you get a divorce with a woman, the woman gets the children. She gets child support. She gets alimony. Well, child support is against the Bible. The Bible says if a woman leaves you, she gets nothing. She gets nothing. You keep the children. The woman keeps nothing. Okay? That's how you know this is Satan's kingdom. Okay? And in America, everything caters to the woman. Uh, go ahead, read that again. All right, I'll keep going, whatever. First Corinthians 11 and 9. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So the, the, the woman was created for the man, not the other way around. Because a woman is a man's property. Oh, I got, we said, like I said earlier, a woman is not her own person. She is a possession. Keep going. Uh, well, that, well, actually, read it back at the top when it said the covering in the head. First Corinthians 11 and 7. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image uh, image and glory of God. All right, that's the point. Because them, that's what I was saying earlier. Them so-called Jews, they always wear them the, 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 the kippahs or them, what they get, the yarmulkes, whatever the fuck, them little funny little hats. Little titty cup hats. Yeah, the little faggot hats they wear. <laughs> Because they because they say that when you pray that you have to have your head covered. And then they teach you you always have to cover your head because that's the doctrine of Antichrist. Because all their teachings are, are taught to go directly against the Bible, okay? Everything they teach is designed to go against the Bible. If the Bible says uh, don't cover your head, they teach cover your head. You know what I'm saying? That's like they teach that it's okay to molest a little boy. In the Talmud, it says it's okay for them Jews to molest little boys because they're a bunch of child molesters. What is it, eight or nine years old or younger? Yep, so, yeah. it's even younger than that, I yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. when they have, when, when, a, when, a, when a, the rat devils are first born, they have the rabbi circumcise the male baby. And then after the rabbi circumcises the baby, he sucks the blood out of the penis with his mouth. What I meant was um, before the age of eight or nine. Oh yeah. Before anything eight later than eight or nine. Um, oh, then it's wrong. They don't want, right, right, right. Now, I remember that one couple of weeks ago, the one dude mm -hmm. was out here. He said they uh, he had sucked him up when yep. he was a baby. Yep. Sure he did. did. He did. He, said, yep. he admitted yeah. it. Yep. Yeah, we yeah. actually had a yep. Jew out here, and he admitted that when he was born, yep. the rabbi sucked his penis. You got him a blowjob from a rabbi. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck is that, man? That's crazy. That's crazy. He had nothing to say about and it. And those are not the Lord's like people. Like he was looking at us like... Like what? Right. <laughs> I think something wrong. <laughs> you know who the real Jews are? Can I ask you a question? Oh, he said, you don't give a fuck. Reject the Lord. Yeah, you reject the Lord, you reject you, man. Yeah. You give a fuck about you. Like they got something better to do, man. Fuck these motherfuckers, man. Fuck them all. I hate it. It's so cold, man. Watch. Oh, That's why it, it blitz your hands. So yeah, it quick. does. It hurts your hand. That's why that dude's woman look like Macy Gray. You know what I'm saying? That's a curse. You got a bitch that look like Macy Gray. Your ass is cursed, man. <laughs> bitch look like a witch. You got a goddamn afro and shit, bitch. Remember that bitch Grace Jones? I like Macy Gray. Oh, that bitch is a freak, man. Grace. Oh God. She got the bride of Frankenstein oh, haircut. Yeah, she did, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, my hands done froze. Whip gloves. <laughs> These shitty ass gloves. I got it. I got some big gloves. I should have worn. I'm sure my kid. Your hands frozen. Oh, you, oh, you got some good gloves. Go 
Go ahead. We'll say a four now. When we started. Oh one. yeah, re four, re dead. Four one. one. Yeah. Start at the top. Okay. Whatever you want. Um, Hosea 4 and 1. Hear ye the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So hear the, the children of Israel. He didn't say ye children of all nations. Yeah. And so we are here to teach Israel. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Um, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Keep going. Because there is no truth nor mercy. Oh, that's an awesome truth. Nor knowledge. That's what we're on. There's no like we always say. There's no truth to knowledge out here. You, you, you don't get no truth to knowledge. I, I, every last person you see is a dumbass. Man, they don't know shit. They ain't got a fucking clue. Hey, gotta keep it real. Yeah, I mean they got no clue about anything, what man. You butter coat it. How else can you butter coat with the truth? Cause they don't. They probably most of them can't even find America on a map. I mean these people are stupid. There is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. They got no knowledge of the Most High. The people who claim they, uh, they're into the Bible, when you start talking to them about the Bible, they, they don't even know who Jacob is. I mean, they don't know who Esau is. They don't even know basic stuff. It's like, hold on, you've never really read the Bible, have you? You know, they don't really know. You know, when you start talking to someone, you can tell if they know they've actually been reading that book. You know what I mean? And, you know, all these so-called Christians, they ain't been reading that book. They ain't reading it, man, because they don't even know basic characters. They don't even know the, you know what I'm saying? They don't know basic stuff. Uh, keep going. By swearing and lying. A lying, lying like y'all know something, you don't know shit. Like these preachers, they don't know a goddamn thing. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Go ahead. They just getting paid, man. They just getting paid. They getting paid off you stupid motherfuckers, man. And they know you stupid, and they getting paid. Go ahead. By swearing and lying and murdering, and I murder. say, I, it says killing. Oh, same thing. I like murder better. Murder, that's, the sound that's, what that's really what it is, is murder. Right. And stealing. And stealing. And committing adultery. Uh, and the Lord said it's the wicked and adulterous generation. When that's why you look around. That's why in America there is no punishment for adultery. You get rewarded. A woman can commit adultery. When the Bible says that if a woman commits adultery, she has to be put to death. But not in America. In America, a woman to get child support, alimony, Section Eight. She can commit adultery multiple times with multiple men and collect child support off each one of those cases of adultery and get rewarded for each act, each act of adultery she committed, she gets rewarded for it in America. This place has to be. And then, if you the man, and if you don't pay child support to an adulterous whore, they will lock you up. Say, so, you see that dude that was paying too much for child support? No, he, yeah, he, he should, locked him up. Lock him up. He paid second. too much. And they still locked him, he locked him up. Second, so y'all gotta get put to death, man. All you, yeah. I, I pray yeah. to the mo I pray to the Most High. He put all you judges to death. I pray to the Most High. He put all you captains, saber hoes to death. Hey, he deserves it, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're right. The Most High, he will fuck you up, man. And that child support, that really, you're right. That's a punishment. That living it, living like this is a punishment for you know for breaking the commands of the Most High. Because we get punished for our forefathers. Like my, my dad, my dad didn't teach me the Bible. My dad wasn't even thinking about the Bible. His father's father wasn't talking about the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't teaching us the customs. We all grew up celebrating goddamn Easter and Christmas. <laughs> Go ahead. So this is a punishment, man. We do, actually we deserve this. Right. Getting fucked up like this, having to pay chat. That's a we deserve that punishment. That is a punishment. Go ahead. They break out and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land, therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beast of the field and with the fowls of the heaven. But soon America's gonna mourn. It's just gonna be destroyed, man. Destroyed. Yay, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Hey, our fishes of the sea shall be taken away. 
Keep going. Yet, yet, let no man strive, nor improve, reprove another. For thy people are as they that strive with the priests. Hey, you see them hillbillies down in West Virginia. A lot of them are Israelites. Down there in the goddamn hills, they get fucked up right now. All them goddamn devils dumped all kind of chemicals into their water. Oh, they get fucked they up. They got like 500,000 people without drinking water down there. Yeah, yeah. I, man, I pray to the Most High, you fucking die of thirst. I pray to the Most High, y'all drink that water or take a bath in it. Your, your skin melts, your eyeballs, you go blind and shit. You know what I'm saying? What you, what's the scripture say? Little by little, most high is given little by little. Little by little. He's going to fuck all up, of man. what's coming. You, you, know? can't, you can't escape. The most high is going to get you, motherfucker. Examples man. of shit that's coming, man. And what you know what they're doing down there in, in West Virginia. They calling on FEMA or the government. Thinking the government's going to save them. Yeah, they are not calling on the most high. No, it's not. You know? There might be a few of them down there calling Very on. few, right. Very few. There's Very always few. a few, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. A handful, yep. a remnant, yep. a remnant. Yep. That's right. Because the Lord, because you don't never know who the Lord is dealing with. You know what I mean? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, but we, I praise the most high when I heard about you West Virginians getting fucked up, man. Because <laughs> I know y'all motherfuckers ain't right. I know you stacked up when I was seeing that, man. I was like, ah. I praise the most high, man. I just, it's beautiful. And I pray, I pray that comes up here to Ohio. So what y'all gonna do, man? What's a, what's a dumbass bitch all the time running her mouth gonna do when she ain't got nothing to drink? What you gonna do then, bitch? Put her you, mouth on every damn quiver, every arrow, like right. what you're saying. Yeah. That's what she gonna do. Yeah, she gonna drink comb. Yeah. Funny drink. Here it is, right here. Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 10. By executing thy judgment.